हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दिस न्यू वीडियो सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैड स्टार्टेड विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बाइनरी फेस शिफ्ट की एंड वी हैव सीन विद द व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय बीएफ बीपीएसके दैट इज बाइनरी फेस शिफ्ट की विद रिस्पेक्ट टू बिट जीरो एंड बिट वन फॉर ट्रांसमिशन पार्ट एंड ऑल्सो वी हैव सीन द जनरेशन एंड डिटेक्शन ऑफ दिस बीपीएसके सिग्नल्स विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द ऑर्थोनॉर्मल बेसिस फंक्शंस एंड सिग्नल्स जनरेटेड ओके so those things and all i have already discussed in the previous video so those who have not seen it please go and watch it it is just available before this video okay now in this video actual part coming to the actual part of the video that is the probability error of the bpsk signals generated okay this question is there right i am telling you right now before you skip or uh, miss any part of this video before you don't watch this video also this video is very important from the exam point of view before going and watching uh, giving the exam if this video you didn't watch it would be a loss for you because i am telling you one confirm question which is going to be arriving in the exam that is to find the probability error of bpsk okay it is important it might be asking they might be asking this for around 10 to 12 marks okay mostly 10 marks but this question is a sure question okay so blindly you can trust me and uh, uh, see this video and uh, try to learn this okay this is very important guys so that's why i thought to do this video separately so this is the concept of probability error of bpsk okay so this is one derivation huge derivation where you need to be knowing some terms where i'm going to be explaining you all okay, explaining you all so please stay till the end guys like this video so now let's start when the channel is noisy due to the channel characteristics or the effects of a channel the decision made by the decision device may be misinterpreted so in the previous video we have seen that when the signal is getting passed through an integrator an output is generated and that is given to the decision device okay where it would be making the decision in order to be transmitting bit 0 or 1 right so that can be misinterpreted or uh, corrupted if there is no proper probability so in order to check that probability we are going to be deriving this expression of probability error in order to be knowing whether we are the error is getting con uh, conducted or conducted or not okay so that's why it is the main motive of finding the probability error so now if we assume that bit 0 was transmitted the observation vector is given by x1 is equal to Minus root e b plus w one. Okay, so that also we have written it when bit zero is transmitted. This expression we would be getting as the observation vector, where this w one is the white Gaussian noise or white noise of bit one. Okay. So now the mean of this observation vector is given by mu of x one, where that mu of x one is given by expectation of x one. Whatever the x one value, that is the observation vector value. Whatever we get. we should be taking its expected value okay so that's why we know that expectation of x1 substitute the value of x1 that is a uh, minus eb root eb by uh, root eb plus w1 where we know that uh, split it first that is expectation of minus root eb plus expectation of w1 and we know that white noise has no mean at all so that's why the expected value of the white noise also would be equal to 0 so that's why this term cancels out so we would be left with only expectation of minus root eb okay so the expected value would be in the energy itself so that's why the whatever value we get under expected value that remains the same as the mean value itself so that's why you would be getting the mu x1 value as minus root eb okay it remains as it is so this is the mean value with respect to the observation vector x1 now the variance the variance is given by square root of x1 square okay so that is defined as x1 into sorry x1 minus u of x1 mu of x1 where root of x1 square is given by expectation of x1 minus mu of x1 the whole square okay why because one term that term is equal to the expectation of the square of the term okay so that's why we are taking the square of this under expectation column so using this relation of expectation we are writing this term here okay so we would be getting under root x1 square is equal to expectation of x1 minus mu x1 whole square now the variance of the observation vector is given as under root x1 square is equal to e into uh, minus root eb plus w1 that is the value of x1 plus 
root e b okay this because mu x1 is equal to minus root e b right and here we are having minus sign so minus into minus would be plus so that's why minus root e b plus root e b goes so we are left with uh, under root x1 square that is the variance is equal to expectation of w1 square again we know that expectation of x square is equal to the term itself so that's why we would be getting variance as the white noise itself that is the variance uh, under root x1 square is equal to w1 okay so we know that the variance of white noise is generally given by n0 by 2 okay so that's why w1 would be replaced by n0 by 2 where this is the spectral density which is generated that would be equal to the variance so that's why you would be getting the final value of x1 under root x1 square that is variance as n0 by 2 with respect to the noise function generated okay now the conditional pdf so this PDF is uh, given by uh, is given as probability distribution function. Okay, so the full form of PDF. So conditional PDF of random variable x1. Okay, for x1 how it is given as you see here. So the conditional PDF it is uh, represented as a function of f of x1 when x1 when x1 is transmitted. So it is given by one by root two pi into sigma x1 square into e to the power minus of x1 minus mu the whole square divided by 2 sigma x1 square okay so this is the conditional pdf of a random variable x1 with respect to the white noise generated okay now when conditional pdf 0 was transmitted so f of x1 when x uh, x1 when 0 is transmitted we would be getting 1 divided by under root 2 pi n0 by 2 okay the value of the variance with respect to that you should be substituting it you will be getting n0 by 2 into e to the power minus of x plus root e b the whole square plus 2 into n0 by 2 so 2 2 gets cancelled here so you would be getting, giving with the answer of 1 divided by under root pi n0 into e to the power minus of x plus root e b the whole square divided by n0 okay so this is when 0 is transmitted so when symbol 0 is transmitted an error will occur if x1 is greater than 0 as I have already mentioned in the previous video where decision goes in favor of 1 okay so the bit 1 would be getting transmitted if error is occurred at uh, bit 0 and vice versa the probability of error of bit 0 is equal to the probability that x1 greater than 0 when symbol 0 was transmitted so that's why you would be getting PE of 0 so probability error of bit 0 that is given by probability of x1 greater than 0 when 0 is transmitted okay so that's why this conclusion is given like this now the probability of error of bit 0 can be found by integrating the conditional probability density function that is the conditional pdf whatever we have found just now that is pe of 0 if you integrate with respect to the limit 0 to infinity f of x1 when x1 is uh, 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 when uh, 0 is transmitted with respect to x1 into d of x that is p of 0 is given by 1 by root pi n0 e to the power minus of x plus root e b the whole square divided by n0 into dx so 1 by root pi n0 0 to infinity e to the power minus of x plus root e b square divided by n0 where uh, you should be using the substitution method under integration where whatever is there in the bracket that you put it as u and uh, cross multiply you would be getting u root n0 is equal to x plus root e b and uh, take the differentiation on both sides you would be getting du of n naught is equal to dx since this is a constant term so this would be 0 so now change the limits now when uh, x is equal to 0 u would be equal to uh, in this term if you put the value of x as 0 you would be getting root e b by n naught okay when x is equal to infinity u also would be equal to infinity so now the limits change from root e b by n naught to infinity okay so now the PE of 0 where we would be getting it as 1 by root pi n0 and integration from root e b by n0 to infinity e to the power minus u square okay the value of u we should be substituting it du root n0 okay so root n0 you bring it outside and uh, we, we can be cancelling this n0 term here n0 n0 gets cancelled and uh, this term as it is so PE of 0 that is probability of bit 0 we would be getting it as 1 by root pi integration from root e b by n0 to infinity e to the power minus u square du okay so this is for bit 0 okay not the total error this is only for bit 0 now 
error function of random variable is given by so now with respect to the random variable random variable means that whatever the bit is getting transmitted with respect to that a variable is formed that variable is random in nature okay for that error that one error function is given that error function is defined as ERFC ERFC stands for error function of x okay so error function is given by ERFC of the whatever the random variable x that is given by 2 by root pi where uh, x uh, varies from uh, where the limits are from x to infinity integration of x to infinity e to the power minus z square dz okay if you compare it with the probability error of 0 0 bit we would be getting it as 1 by 2 into 2 by root pi and uh, root integration from root e b by infinity e to the power minus u square du because here only one term is common in between these two terms that is 1 by 2 okay so that's why that have getting uh, that have multiplied with respect by comparing these two equations so that's why you would be getting this term here so now p e of 0 uh, where we can be cancelling some of the terms that is this term whatever is given uh, generated right that you replace it by the error function okay but the random variable in this case is the power which is uh, the limit which is getting generated here okay if you compare these two equations here in case in place of x we are having root e b by n naught okay so that's why we would be getting the uh, uh, probability of error of bit 0 as 1 by 2 into error function of root e b by n naught okay so now we have got for one bit probability okay that is for a bit 0 but it is nearly the same for bit 1 as well because uh, bit 0 and bit 1 are 50-50 uh, to each other because they are, we are not having any other bits because binary values have only two bits one is 0 and one is 1 so whatever the error which we are getting in bit 0 that is 50% error and the other 50% error lies in bit 1 okay so that's why PE of 0 is similar nearly equal to PE of 1 so therefore the total probability of error is given by PE is equal to P of 0 into P E of 0 plus P of 1 into P E of 1. Okay. So that is given by half into the error probability of bit 0 that is half into error function of root E B by N naught plus half into again half into error function of root E B by N naught. Okay. So if we compare it and uh, substitute it we will be getting the final answer for error probability as 1 by 2 into error function of root E B by N naught which is same as probability of bit 0 only okay so that's why the final error probability for the binary phase shift keying bpsk signal is given by 1 by 2 into error function of root eb by n naught okay so yeah please note this uh, thing guys this is very important so that's all for this video guys in the next video we are going to be discussing with one more kind of phase shift keying technique that is QPSK that is quadrature phase shift keying again the generation and detection of that QPSK signal along with the uh, probability error okay I'm going to be making two separate videos on that as well so stay tuned and don't miss to watch the upcoming videos guys okay that's all thank you